startled. I'm thinking I see, and then I see, and the sight shocks the daylights out of me, as if I'd never seen before. That face once, who looked at me, and I couldn't even raise my eyes to meet hers. She radiated such beauty, I had to look away. How can someone be so strikingly attractive like none I've ever seen before in this lifetime and to think I've laid eyes upon this beauty, a beauty that creates aversion. But that was a long time ago, and now, as a traveler upon earth for over 60 years, sight again is being unstrung. When that child's face almost a rectangle, and two perfectly positioned eyes at a horizontal line, both eyes gazing intently at me to investigate in an atmosphere now created between him and me, where everything else dissolves, and it's just us two looking at each other, like we're gazing down a mountain valley fogged by the breath of dawn, when overwhelmed by mist and mountain. But here, that look upon me, like he has prior knowledge, back when anaerobic, in the womb, but now lunged into a strange and provocative world he's trying to make sense of. And who is this creature now looking at me, this big-nosed man? And I look back at him to see at edges of vision his loose curls so wonderfully formed to crest his head, so that I'm crushed, and I don't know what to say. And his mother fills the silence to explain. He's at that point where he's trying to figure everything out as a way of dismissing why he didn't smile at me. And I wanted to burst out to say that I just felt the universe suspended between us. I just rediscovered life in your child's gaze, his purely formed puzzling like my own. Yes, why are we here? What are we doing? How did we get here? And at once, a face so lovely and unblemished, I could only blurt, he's so handsome, which skipped like a stone across the deep water's surface and didn't express how daily I don't see, except when startled by visions like this one, this child, this universe, this hum of vision, so torn from the everyday? All that. And I hate seeing pictures of babies on cell phones passed among several people and all gathered together when coups are made, compliments given, ancestry adored. And I have to say something like, so cute, or give a, uh-huh, wow, to this perverse representation stamped upon glowing pixels to frame the loaf of bread baby hardly out of the dark canal, hardly emerged into puzzlement. And this cell phone picture doesn't stop time, doesn't make me look away, doesn't dumbfound, doesn't make of me tongueless, like at those rare moments when startled face to face with a child, when there's, there's really nothing to say, because nothing can be said.